this is really in the realm of belief system. You know, the whole global order is so locked in to nuclear power, the nuclear age, this limitless safe energy and all the advances and all the convenience it brings to our lives and mm -hmm. how it saves us labor and gives us leisure and entertainment and television and so on. They've completely created entire global myths of civilization based on this. And this civilization is now about, is, is vaporizing, basically, in front of our eyes. It's, there's a financial collapse going on, and on top of this, you know, this, this, this nuclear disaster, and of which is basically a one-way journey for a lot of people on this planet. They're not going to come out of it. That's right. And, yeah, that's uh, right. And I do believe in herbal treatment and all that, but if you allow yourself to believe in these high priests of the nuclear god, and you're cooked long enough, I'm sorry, you know, there's limits. I mean, you know, I well, myself, I tell you, I'm not back in the battlefield too much because i got to watch you know exactly how much contamination I've got. How much? No, we we need you like to this. stay. We need you to yeah, stay very yeah. healthy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, because we have to for the long run. And then right. what we do with the victims is still you know uncertain. uncertain. Well, and there are <laughs> new surveys are, surveys showing the poor refugees from the evacuees in the crisis. Fifty percent of them don't have jobs. Small well, businessmen, yeah. small business there. They're gone. Seventy percent. They may never have jobs open. again. They're flat broke in the debt economy, and and they're all basically you know ill. They're all ill, if not dying. Well, there, a, a Japan journalist is writing now that he is of the opinion, after doing a lot of research, that brain damage from radiation is happening on a, a very fast oh, basis and on yeah. a wide level. I've, I've noticed that among people, there's definitely a lack of emotion. First of all, ah, people zombified. Take, take you could tell a joke. And they don't catch it, okay? All uh -oh. right, that's the first sign I, I noticed. Uh -huh. uh, not a lot of smiling. Sort of a general grimness, slowness to react, sort of just a steady state consciousness. You know, there are no bright spots, no no peaks in the day, and a sense of fatigue. Radiation zombies. Yeah, well, yeah, and, and part of the behavior problem, people do exactly opposite of what's good for them because, you know, taking on radiation is very counterintuitive. you got to think processes out. Do things that you don't do too, but these people are all following a routine. Just lockstep that they learn. They, there's no ability to creatively uh, work around this radiation program. So they're basically, yeah, they're zombies just marching over the edge. It's just, it's really sad to see this. And, we're, uh, we're also going to see, you brought up the issue of those, uh, those dog-like animals uh, beginning to act in oh, very yeah. aberrant uh, ways. Yeah. We're going to see uh, viral and bacterial mutations. Uh, all, yeah, kinds all kinds of things. I see pictures occasionally. I saw a picture of a farmer near Tokyo holding up massively deformed vegetables from his garden, laughing like, ha, 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 ha. Isn't this funny? Well, you think this is, yeah, you think this is a miracle, a gift from the gods. No, this is a gift from the nuclear gods, a big joke played on humanity because exactly the same thing is happening to his own DNA, okay? Exactly the same thing. Right. And so population collapses. I, I think the medical community has already decided there will be no more babies for a while until this thing is well over, you know, that we can't afford to risk. Are they going of, to uh, just then it. encourage abortions for all babies? I, I think so, yeah. I think the medical community, very quiet. Mm -hmm. Doctors are still afraid to go up to the lack of medical services. Uh -huh. you know, they, they, they know. They know how dangerous it is. And Well, they're they, shortening they their lives. They, I know. They, yeah. Yeah. They got to be around for later, you know. When uh, you know people start to really realize when people mm -hmm. come down really visibly sick, and you got to sort people out between the uh, those who might have a chance of surviving and those who definitely can't. That's uh, all triage. Uh, they got the doctors have, you know, medical community has to save itself for that really mm -hmm. grim moment ahead. This is really, this is really, uh, you know, this is the kind of Holocaust that is possible. Uh, you know, when nuclear, the risks of nuclear are unimaginable. We've known about them, but we knew. We had no idea that they would be this, not just extensive, but this convoluted, that we, they would just come out at us with so many curveball curve pitches uh, in, in ways that we never would have, uh, uh, you know, could never have anticipated is coming out now. So, yeah, it's a, it's a rough year. It's a hard way to start the year. Uh, now what? I mean, this is, again, I'm in touch with my German and Japanese colleagues. You know, we're, we're kind of at a loss what to do, you know, because uh, what next? And I'm just advising, we got to wait till spring snow melt and then uh, make a, a, a judgment then. You know, is there's anything to say, but perhaps 
more toward medical treatment at this point. Yeah, it's too late to save the farms and all that. That's well, I agreed. Thing. And the issue, of course, is what kind of medical treatment can really deal with this massive radioactive exposure? Yeah, well, we can. Those who have not been entirely exposed, those with stronger immune systems, those who watch their diets, I think uh, that something could be sustained, protect their DNA. You know, there's ways of doing that. Building up their immune systems. Well, they, unfortunately, the the, or, the organized yeah. medical people will not subscribe to that. They don't push that. They, they, well, that's what I'm saying. They're just waiting for the death toll, basically. They're just, you know, they just they want to examine people and figure out who's not going to make it. And there's, you know, they've got chemotherapy. There is. Oh, geez. Uh, there are non-invasive surgeries if they can catch them in time. I suppose they're going to do a lot of scanning of people that puts mm. them through. Although mm. you know, X-ray machines now are very low, low dose, low dose. So they're mm. not like in the past. So I think that's what they're going to try to do: catch tumors as they, you know, as they form, as they emerge. <laughs> you can use non-invasive methods to do that. You can use, you know, I mean, uh, there's way microsurgery methods. So that's their strategy. Although I much more believe in a herbal strategy because I think your immune system is basically really all you've got. You know, in the end, the end. You know, they oh, can't do it sure. from outside. The problem is inside your d uh, DNA, and it's got to be fought at the cellular level. And your body does have some defenses. I mean, we are exposed to a lot of radiation. One of the things that drives uh, evolution. You know, and uh, we, uh, you know, and, and species have survived. You know, potassium, you eat an apple. There's a lot of radiation in there. So there are, our body can cope to a certain limit, just to that certain limit, okay? And I think that's where there's going to be a cutoff line. It, it's, it's a terrible thing, but this is, I think, the shift in thinking that's going to have to happen. You know, it's, the government has reacted too slowly. The IAEA was recklessly uh, inactive and did not address this. The world is in deep trouble. The United States government, which has been a major promoter of nuclear Power uh, has been totally, uh, you know, uh, negligent here. And then we have little countries like uh, North Korea and Iran thinking they're going to be nuclear powers. How absurd! I mean, this is nonsense. It's bad enough they're getting, you know, they can be at risk from other countries that they have to risk themselves for their own nuclear plant. Ridiculous. I mean, people need to wake up, whoever they are, wherever they are. Agreed. All right. Thank you, Yochi. I appreciate the update. Uh, grim uh, and grimmer. But that's the truth, and that's what we do. Yeah, we've got we to do it. we got to face the truth. Otherwise, uh, it will be good. All right. Take care, my friend. Okay. Okay. Good night.